Hello everyone, myself Kamna Singh, Assistant Professor in Computer Science and Engineering Department in Ajay Kumar Garg Engineering College. Today we are going to topic Kokomo model. Actually this Kokomo model is for the effort estimation technique for developing the software projects. And this particular topic is taken by the subject software project management. Actually, what is Kokomo model? Kokomo model is nothing but it is the constructive cost model and it is based upon the lines of codes. Lines of code means what is your project size. Suppose that in the project size there are only uh, 50 lines. So, the 50 lines of codes in that particular project even though it is very very small. Otherwise, uh, generally this lines of code or a project size can be estimated in the unit KLOC that is a kilo lines of code. This particular Kokomo model is generally used for the estimation technique or estimate the total effort as a person per month and the time of that particular project taken to deliver that particular project. It is developed by the Barry Bohem in 1981. Actually Barry Bohem was a uh, a scientist and they are study, uh, he's studying so many projects that are 63 projects and which makes it one of the best documented model. The key parameter of the this particular Kokomo model is to finding the effort and schedule of the software project. There are two parameters that is a effort and schedule. Effort can be estimated that number of people are uh, developing that particular project to complete a task and it is measured in the person per month and the schedule is taken as a time whatever time is taking as a to develop a software project is it is in the week or a person per uh, per week or a month now the different models of the Kokomo model is proposed by estimating a different levels of the amount of the accuracy and correctness and all of these models can be applied a variety of the projects. Actually the Kokomo model is of two types Kokomo 1 and the Kokomo 2. Kokomo 1 model is again three types that is a basic model, intermediate model and detailed model and the basic model is again of the three types that is a organic Kokomo 1 model, semi detached model and the embedded model. Actually organic model is a model in which the well known objective are there and the well known objective with there are a less experienced team is required but the because the objective is well known and so that the time taken by the organic model is less as compared to the other model. Semi detached model in the semi detached model it is uh, difficult to implement as compared to the organic model but there is a uh, familiar environment is taken in the semi detached model and the embedded model in the embedded model there are the uh, large size of team is required plus there should be uh, innovation will be there in the organic and semi detached model there are there is no innovation techniques all the well known objective is implemented in that particular model but the in the embedded model the experienced team is not there less experienced team is there and the innovative approach is taken in the intermediate model of the Kokomo first model that is there is again the organic semi detached and embedded model but because the basic model give the rough sketch of the effort and time cost so that the intermediate model there is taking some other predictive parameters these are the 15 predictive parameters are taken including this whatever the features using the basic model including these based on 15 parameters imply the intermediate model. In the detailed model, detailed model is having a six phases. There are different different phases and according to these phases we are going to calculate the particular effort and time. 
the kokomo 2 model having three stages actually the kokomo 2 model that is the first stage is application composition estimation model means when we are going to implement the kokomo 2 model because the kokomo 1 model gives the rough sketch of the effort and time the kokomo 2 give the precise value of the time and effort so that it will calculate it in each step or each phases to calculate the time and effort. In the Kokomo 2, there are three stages. That is the application composition estimation. That is the first stage. After completing this first stage, the next is the early design estimation model and next is the post architecture estimation model is there. So, here we are going to first introduce that is first is a uh, basic model these are the basic model that is a organic semi detached and embedded model the organic model is the model that is a size equal to very small and the well known objective is there and the past experienced team is there so that uh, it takes less amount of time to generate that particular effort and time the semi detached model in the semi detached model it is comparatively less familiar and difficult to develop as compared to the organic model so uh, for example we can take compilers or a different embedded system we are implementing so semi detached model is required on that particular type the embedded model in the embedded model there is a complex environment is there and the innovative approach is used so the less experienced team is required but very very large team size is required so the as compared to the other two models it create to develop the such complex model is in the embedded model now as we discussed, the Kokomo model is of two types. That is, a co Kokomo model is what? Constructive cost model. And it is of two types. That is, a Kokomo 1 and Kokomo 2. The Kokomo 1 model having the organic, semi-detached and embedded model. The basic model is estimating the software in a rough sketch. You can say the time and the effort and the effort is calculated in person per month generally we can also calculate the person per week or a per day is already implemented there are three types that is organic semi detached and embedded with this particular table we can use that what are the organic semi detached and embedded model these are the key parameters for the size team size according to the size if the size means whatever the size of the project it can be estimated by the lines of code and generally because there are so many lines in that particular project so it can be as a unit as kilo lines of code kilo means 1000 lines of code so when we are using the organic model when the project size is 2 to 50 kilo lines of code then we are going to use the organic model and when the particular project size is 50 to 300 kloc then the this particular 50 to 300 KLOC kilo lines of code, then the semi detached model is used. In the embedded model, when the 300 or above kilo lines of codes are there, then we are going to use the embedded model. The team size is small because the in the organic model, the objective is well defined. Objective every time the requirement of the customer will not change, and so then the team size is small. And the semi detached model, there is a medium size team is required and the embedded because the innovative approach is there and the complex objective will be there that's why the large team size will be required team size means number of people develop number of people developed uh, on that particular project next is the developer experience because the well known objective in the organic model that's why the developer experience is less means experienced uh, developer is needed and the average experience developer is needed in the semi detached model and the embedded very little experience people is required because this is the complex topic there is no other uh, well known objective is there that's why very little experience people required in when we are going to implement the embedded kokomo model the environment is familiar in the organic model it's semi detached there is a less familiar model and the significant environment is there innovation 
high innovation in the embedded model only because the complex objective is there this there is no well known objective is there and the, in the organic model there is no innovation or a very little innovation because all the particular like the payroll automation system or like the library management system we already know what are the modules what are what we are going to implement maybe the technique will be changed but the whatever the modules specifications that is the same library management system or a payroll management system or a timetable management system all these are implemented by using the organic model and we can calculate easily by the effort and time in this particular in the organic model the deadlines are not very tight but the, in the embedded model very very tight deadlines are there suppose that you are going to implement a very innovative project so there is a tight deadlines and there are large team is there but less experienced team so every time you have to experience and the develop so many things and after that uh, implement that particular project so the tight deadlines is required in the embedded kokomo model when we are going to implement the embedded model now the barry bohem developed this organic semi detached embedded after studying so many projects that is a 63 projects and the more uh, so that the Barry Bohem calculates some A, B, C, D values. These A, B, C, D values for this basic Kokomo model is constant. Means when we are going to use the organic model, the A is always as a 2.4. Or when we are going to use a basic model as an embedded model, the C is always 2.5. This particular table you have to memorize so that you can calculate the effort and time and the staff size. So, there is a formula for effort. This the effort is what? Effort is a A of KLOC power B. This A of KLOC power B means what? Kilo lines of code. Kilo lines of code is the project size and the unit is person per month. How many person used to develop that particular project is calculating by the unit person per month and the development time is development time is c to the power f4 to power d c and d is already calculated with a different different type of model that is a organic semi detached and embedded and the effort and the development time can be calculated by in the when we are using the basic model then we are using as a month Effort staff size, effort staff size means the, what will be the team size. The team size is uh, we can calculate by dividing these effort and development time and the effort team size will be as a number of person and the productivity we can calculate means this particular project is productive or not. So, we can calculate it by the KLOC per effort because the effort is uh, unit having a person per month that is why here it is written as the unit is KLOC per month. So, productivity so that we can calculate by using the basic Kokomo model the four parameters of that particular project software project that is the effort development time effort staff size and the productivity. Now, we have taken a simple example. Suppose that the project having a project size as a 400 kilo lines of code. 400 kilo lines of code means what? 400 into 1000 lines of code or you can say approximately in that particular project there is a 4 lakh lines of codes. So, calculate, we have to calculate the effort and time for the organic mode. In the organic mode, uh, you can see this particular table. In the organic mode, already A and B is calculated by the Barry Bohem. So, we can use this directly in our equation. So, we have to calculate effort in the organic mode with the project size of 400 kilo lines of code. So, effort equal to what? A of KLOC power B. KLOC is the 400 and the effort because this is the organic mode. So, we have to calculate using 2.4 and 1.05 values as A and B respectively. And we can find out the person per month as this is. And here, uh, always remember that whatever the kilo lines of code, that is the project size actually. The second is the intermediate model because the 
particular basic Kokomo model, which having the three types, organic, semi-detached and embedded, but it gives the like, rough sketch of the effort estimation or a time or a person per month or a development time, team size. This is the a rough sketch. That's why there is a one another term that is uh, coined that is the intermediate model. In the intermediate model, that is the having some other parameters is included that is a that is called as a cost driver or a predictors these predictors are 15 and these predictors are in the intermediate model it is these uh, 15 parameters are depends upon the whatever the project software project experience reliability capability whatever these cost drivers are there these are the 15 cost drivers are there that is the first is the required software reliability whatever the reliability we need when we are going to this particular project to develop or a size or a complexity if the complexity is more so that we have we are going to use the embedded model or the runtime performance constraints are there or whatever the analyst capability is there whatever the development schedules are there there are so that there are 15 parameters are listed out for intermediate model even though intermediate model having the three organic semi detached and embedded model with including these 15 parameters that is also called as an effort adjustment factor. These 15 cost driver can be used in a group and these are the groups that is a, the first group including the computer attribute, the project attribute and the personal attribute. These three particular groups are there and the computer attribute project and the personal attribute, computer attribute having what execution time, whatever the storage, even though this particular computer is using the virtual machine concept or not, or a project at attribute, use of the software tools are there, even though uh, some new techniques are there, some new language or a platform are introduced, whatever these projects attributes are there. The personal attributes is depends upon whatever the person uh, or a, you can say the team size. The team size, whatever the team value analyst capabilities are there or the virtual machine experience is not there or a programming language experience is there. So, so these are the cost drivers are there. In the intermediate model, Bohem again calculated A and B for the these three models that is a organic, semi-detached and embedded. There is a formula for effort A of KLOC power B. Uh, remember that in the basic Kokomo model, there is no effort adjustment factor. But in this particular intermediate model, the one more term is introduced that is the effort adjustment factor depends upon that 15 predictors or a cost driver. So, in this particular, again, if we are going to say that is a 400 kilo lines of code and we have to find out the previous example, we can use the simply 400 kilo lines of code, but the what are the A and B? Because the 400 kilo lines of code is what? 400 kilo lines means there is an embedded model are used. Uh, in this, that particular table, we already uh, discussed that there are the, if the kilo lines or a project size is more than the 300 lines of code, then we are using the embedded code. That's why here we are using 2.8 and 1.20 as a A and B value. Now, this is the simple example for the intermediate model. Suppose that the effort for the project size is 25 kilo lines of code and using the Kokomo intermediate model, consider the final software reliability should be very high. So, in this particular, the first line giving the project size, project size is 25 kilo lines. It means what? We can already calculate that 25 kilo lines means what? 0 to 50 kilo lines of code is the organic model. So, in this particular question, even though there is not written that this is uh, which type of model you are going to use, organic, semi-detached or embedded, but because of this particular lines of code, we can uh, find out that this is the organic model. Then, Next is the A and B. We have to find out A and B with the organic model of the intermediate model. Now, so the for the organic model, we can already use this because we know that there is a 25 kilo lines of code. So, organic model A value is 3.2 and the B value is 1.05. Simply 
Now, the second line says consider the final software reliability should be very high. Means here the cost driver is given and the cost driver specification is also given. Cost driver is software reliability and the specification of software reliability is very high. So, in this particular table, we can also see there is a, in the first particular row there is a software reliability and software reliability is very high it means what very high is a 1.40 so in this particular effort adjustment factor we can use effort adjustment factor because the software reliability is very high so we can calculate this effort adjustment factor as a 1.40 that is 3.2 power into kilo lines of code or a project size power b that is 1.05 into effort adjustment factor that is what that is the software reliability is very high which is coming from that particular table that is 1.40 so simply we can calculate and approximate 12 percent per month if there is a 25 kilo lines of code in your project size so per month only the 12 percent will be required approximately this is the table so that there are so many attributes are there and we can calculate this. The next numerical, suppose that again the 400 kilo lines of code, but the effort adjustment factor or you can say the cost driver are different in the case 1 and case 2. Here in the first case, there is a high capable with the little experience and developer with the low quality and lots of experience. So in the case 1, 400 kilo lines of code, then again there is what? Embedded value, embedded A and B value is already we can calculate it. That is a 0.82. Effort adjustment factor is what? That is in the first case, very high capable but little experience. Very high capable but little experience. Means what? 1.14. So, here into 1.14 is there and the effort and development time will be used. And the second case, there is a A of KLOC power B. That is again, there is a more experienced team is there. Effort adjustment factor that is taken by this 0.95 is taken by the table. And the A of KLOC power B, we already calculated with A and B and this particular effort and development time will be used. Now, the detailed Kokomo model. In the detailed Kokomo model, actually, because the Kokomo 1, the basic model and intermediate model gives the rough sketch of the effort and time. So, in the detailed model, there are six stages. These six stages are planning and requirement, system design, detailed design, module code and integration and testing and finally cost constructive. These six phases are interdependent. These phases are not dependent of each other and the first phase of the planning and requirement we are going to calculate in this first phase planning and requirement effort and estimation will be there then the second phase the system design effort and estimation estimation of the effort and time will be calculated again the detail these are not interdependent but the six phases after the last phase we can calculate the total of the effort and time in this particular software project. So, sum up all these whatever the effort and time will be coming into the first phase, second phase and fifth phase and then after that the in the last phase all these into the sum of that. This Kokomo model having also called as a parametric productivity model. This Kokomo 2 model is giving the precise manner of the effort and time so, there are three stages that is the application first stages, application composition estimation, early design estimation and post architecture estimation. These are the in the first phase application composition estimation actually we are going to calculate whatever the if you are going to develop a small project which having a very tight deadlines and which having a simply suppose that you are going to implement a simple software for the uh, play store or a simple gaming application is there which have to deliver within the week. So, 
you are using the application composition estimation model or you can say you are going to develop a simple prototype model then we are using the application composition estimation model in the second phase early design estimation in the early design estimation project is less known about the project we have we have less known so that we are going to calculate with the brainstorming and with the interview sessions and then the third stage the post architecture estimation actually all these particular value or software project will be implemented in this particular phase in the Kokomo 2 model and after the completion of the detailed architecture of the project. Com actually application composition estimation is used when we are going to use the quickly developed components or the database manager or the some prototype structure you are going to use then application composition estimation are used. Application composition estimation model is counted by the object points and the object points are calculated with these three parameters that are that are screen reports and 3GL components. This is the simple table. Suppose that you are going to make a project with there is a screen classification. A screen classification depends upon the sources and screen. So that the number of views, suppose that only three number of views are there and there are in your project there are eight screen or eight GUI interfaces are there. So that number of views are only three. So eight screen. So we can calculate that this particular object point is simple object point complexity is simple medium and difficult according to this table we can calculate whatever the object point complexity value suppose that the in the last line you can say there is a number of views or a number of views of the user is greater than eight and there are different eight plus screens in your particular project. So, the object point can be calculated as a difficult level. The third calculation for the object point is report classification. In the report classification, if the number of views is 0 to 1 and there are in your particular project, there are 8 plus screens are there. So, the object point is determined as a medium level. The complexity level is only medium. The each object is classified with the three complexity level. All these particular complexity level, we are going to sum up all these. Suppose that this uh, because the object point or for application composition estimation model, object point can be calculated by these three parameters: screen, report, and 3GL component. Then all these particular values will be sum up and then calculated by the whatever the complexity weight of the object point that is a one, two, three, or a sum of that particular values. So, the application composition estimation model is classified with the help of the object point and there is a difficulty levels are simple, medium and difficult. The screen and 3GL component and reports are used as the screens are classified by the view and sources. Reports are classified with the section and sources. So, if we want to calculate the object point, simply we have to calculate and sum up all these values and we can find out the object point. The again parameter, this parameter is finding out the new object point. If we are going to calculate the new object point, the object point into 100 minus percentage of reuse code may be possible. Suppose that you are going to make a project of the different level, but already that particular project some part of the project is already implemented or some module are already implemented then that particular module can be reused and you are going to code some other values so may be possible so that's why here it is written as percentage of reuse upon 100 so this is the number of object point that need to be developed and calculated the object point Again, the parameter is productivity rate. Productivity rate can be calculated by using number of object point upon person per month and the effort in person per month can be calculated by dividing the number of object point upon productivity rate. Number of object 
point. Now, this is a simple example uh, of to calculating the productivity rate. Productivity rate can be calculated by the number of object point upon person per month. Person per month is actually nothing but it is the effort. So, there is a developer experience, whatever the developer experience is there. So, the productivity, if the very low experience, so the productivity rate will be less as compared to the high experience. This is the simple numerical example. Suppose that we are going to implement the Cocobo 2 model. There are the 12 screen, 10 reports and the 80% as new software component. So that if we can calculate, there are the total number of screen is 12, report are 10 and average, that's why we are using the weight factor as 2. So 12 plus 20 is 32, 3 GL components are not given in this particular numerical. So, the number of object point can be calculated by the formula object point into 100 minus percentage of reuse. 80 percent are used, so the 20 percent is reuse 100 minus 20 upon 100. So, the number of object point can be calculated and the same value the effort can be calculated by the help of the number of object point upon productivity rate. These are the advantages of the Kokomo model. Kokomo model evaluate the feasibility of the software project by estimating the cost and effort but some disadvantages are there. The disadvantage because it does not provide a precise estimate of the cost and effort of the software project. Thank you.